bring the new in with the old. Come on, show me, Amber. Tomorrow she went, wait, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. I'm going out of town. I was getting ready to call you and tell you. Oh, and I can hear her getting ready to say, wait a minute. Let me call Kim and tell Kim. I, was, I said, no, 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 don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> don't change your plans because our heart is with the kingdom. Yes. And she was ready to change her plans, Amber. What? Yes, she was. <laughs> And you know, that's Kim would have a fit, right? That's her. Yes. That's, that's her. She's faithful, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I was so funny when she said it. But that's what happened when your heart is connected to Kim. Yes. yes. You know, you just want to go, you know, whatever the wave go. You know, yes. you want to move with the wave. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's like you don't want to miss nothing, nothing. right? You don't want to miss nothing. nothing. So how was your weekend? Woo! Fabulous. Yes. 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 Spring break started for Palm Beach County School. Woo! 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 That's serious. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> I used to be an educator. So it's real serious. Yes. <laughs> it's serious. I mean, I'm homeschooled. <laughs> I get spring break for about two, three weeks. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I, listen, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I'm experiencing something. I'm telling you. When I tell you that we're living in a whole new time now, yes. Where I'm, I'm downstairs doing my work because, you know, of course, I, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. So I work at home. She's upstairs doing her work, and and, and, it's, and I forget she's at home sometimes. Until all of a sudden she passed a test. You know, she may do a DBA. And I hear this, Woo! Yes! I'm like, she home. And I get a test. I just got an A. I said, there it is, boom. You know, also she asked my teachers to um, send him her number. So every time I get an A or a grade, it goes to her phone. So yeah, you gotta do good. Yeah, yeah that's right. So I'm, I'm really excited to have our home. Nikisha, how was your weekend? It was great. No complaints on, on my good weekend. Good yeah. weekend. Good weekend. Good weekend. Listen, we're, we're here. We're here today because we want to talk about it. We want to shift a little bit because I'm, I want to talk about R. Kelly. 
And this is a little different because I want to talk about R. Kelly and the scandal, all this stuff that's going on in the news. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important that we talk about it. And these are the things that the kingdom need to talk about. Yes. You know, because the world's talking about it. Yes. We want to be able to bring it into the kingdom of God so that we can come up with kingdom solutions. Yes. You know, be, I don't know, I like to say some type of, bring some type of positive change. Yes. Because we know that there's some issues there. And I thought to myself, I'm bringing Amber on to set the day. She's going to sit with us and talk about it because my whole thing is I want to know what really happened mm -hmm. because I know Keisha, you've been following it. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times it's in what Keisha does, you know, mm -hmm. everyone knowing her line of duty and what she does. So a lot of times those things, it pulls on her spirit mm -hmm. because she's always talking about it, trying to figure out ways, you know, wow, my wish, you know, if we can just, you know, this issue is going on, wow, if the parent just could have done this. And she's always coming up with issues and I thought, you know what, let's talk about it. Yes. That's talking about, you know, Art Kelly. And my whole thing is, how do you all think that it went on so long mm. and no one said anything or did anything about it? That was my number one, yeah, so like, important. concern. Like, this is not something that just happened overnight. Mm -hmm. So this was years and years, you know, of turbulence going on in his mm -hmm. life. And all of a sudden, now we want to pay attention to it. Yes. And, and Keish, what's your opinion on it? What, what um, do you think? I think... You know, because it's been, it's been going on so first of all, because of who he is, mm -hmm. the influence he has, mm -hmm. the money he has, mm -hmm. um, and if you think about it, a lot of people are attracted to him as this, this movie, I mean, the superstar. Right. Um, and if you just think about the secular world, right. the different things that he brought to that world, um, a lot of people, and I think even kids, they become infatuated with that because to me that's a, that's a spirit. It's, right. It goes deeper than just right. watching somebody, you yeah. know. But it's the music, and we always talk about the music yeah. being a, the the gateway. You yeah. know, it can be the gateway to it's to what enters your, your spirit. Yes. So if you think about a lot of the music that he put out, right. that gave a lot of opening and gateways to not only older people but mm -hmm. younger mm -hmm. women as well. That's sexual like, you know, perversion, sexual perversion, all these different all these things. Open up the doors to open that door. So a lot of young girls are infatuated with him as well as women, you know, because of like I said, who he is and, and right. what he Absolutely. Um, what he done what he did, you know, and the type of music that he put out. So I think the question was how has he been able to get away with it for so long? Absolutely. Um, we go back to when they brought you know, they tried to um, bring charges against him mm -hmm. um, back in, in you know, the 90s or whenever that was. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that you need a victim for a crime. Mm. Um, That's and yeah, there mm -hmm. was once a victim, but if you guys realize it, if there's no longer a victim, if, if the, the parent is not willing to move forward with the trial, to move forward with my child being a victim, there is no victim. That's interesting. It's like a victim. It's, it's, there's no victim. I need a victim for it. That's you know, it's you know? interesting so, what she said. If the parent don't want to proceed, exactly. If the go, parent doesn't want to move forward, move with the charges, forward with the charges. So it sounds like the parents may have an idea that Definitely. these things are going on. I have a daughter. One hundred and ten percent. I have a daughter. I'm mm -hmm. trying to phantom that in my mind. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. I have a strong indication mm -hmm. that there's some sexual yes acts going on. Absolutely. With an adult, with my child, and I know this information, and I don't intervene. I'm thinking to myself, and I and I think about this. I want to talk to Amber about that. Do you think that that's the parents' fault? Just from your opinion? No, because as like a young lady maturing into a woman, mm -hmm. why would you put yourself in that position? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Like, no matter how bad you say your parents raised you, right? Okay. Because in a harsh environment. It, it still doesn't determine yourself. That's good. Like, you can't blame it on your parents. Mm -hmm. Accountability. Yeah. You gotta take accountability because you can't go on for the rest of your life saying, oh, it's my parents' fault. You know? So it's not a particular way that the parents could have raised that child to cause that child. Oh, I was in a bad environment. This is the reason mm -hmm. I made this decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, even though the parent knew there was an accountability mm -hmm. that the that the girl has to take a place somewhere in their mind. Yes. So I'm hearing her say insecurity. Yes. And why are these the influence. girls influenced? Because uh, for That's one good. of the stories that came up, um, one of the, the young ladies said that it was a friend that introduced her to him. This friend had insight connections with him. Influence. And the friend pulled her in and introduced her to him. So I asked him, 
If a friend called you knowing the history because she made she made it known, I knew who he was. Everyone knows who he is. Okay. Um, you know, we all crazy about him. We all love his music. But when her friend called her and said, hey, just tell your mom you hanging out with me. I mean, they're teenagers, 16, 17 years old. Right. Mom has nothing to do with this at this point, right? So my question to Em with the influence, That's if your friend mm -hmm. called you knowing who this That's is, awesome. you know, oh, he's a superstar, he's this, he's that. Mm -hmm. Everybody's crazy about him. Don't tell your mom, let's just go to the mall. So my question to you for the girls out there that's watching, the power of influence. You have a friend call you, how would you have handled that? Because we do know that that is a, 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 a great Reality. deal that's what's happening. of things that these teenagers are facing, just the power of influence and influence coming from that, connect, yes. that connection with friends. So how would you have handled that, just being who you are? What do you think you would have done had a friend called you, a trusting friend, someone you're close to, Call you and say, hey, Em, let's go check out such and such. I, I think, you know, meet him at, we can meet him at the hotel. We can hang out with him. Um, you know who this person is. How do you think you would have responded to that? That's good. Because she responded. She, she went with that friend. So how do you think you would have responded to that? Me? Okay. I'm a teenager. Me as an individual, being so young, yeah, it's R. Kelly. Right. Yeah, I probably want to go. Right. But that's my life. Mm hmm like I don't, I don't put myself in those type of situations mm -hmm. to good. get caught up. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like I don't like getting caught up at all. I don't like me right now. I don't go out. I just go to the movies. Maybe go like bowling or skating. Mm -hmm. But me in that certain situation, mm -hmm. I would, I would say, have fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you to go. Yeah. But you're your own person. So would you see that as being something that could be a conflict with your safety? And I'm not just getting into the aspect where they were doing inappropriate things with him, but just with your safety alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of girls don't even consider safety first with mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of females might say, oh, I'm mature enough, I can handle it. Mm -hmm. But it's not about that. Mm -hmm. It's about drugs, it's about influence, it's about what happens if he pushes he pushes on to you. Mm -hmm. Right, he forces what can, say, yeah. What yeah. can you do? Yeah. That's good. You're, you're, you're young, right. he's a man, a grown right. man. Right. Like, it's kind of... That, and, and it's a lot of girls that, and, and what I'm hearing is that security. Mm -hmm. it, we have we're dealing with a lot of insecure, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that you may have a lot of people, in your, a lot of girls in your circle, and you can kind of, you know, I think that we, even as females, mm -hmm. we have the power to sense through discernment a strong female yes. and a female that's very insecure. Yes, and I think mm -hmm. it's really good. Now I hear security, security. Because, but a lot of girls are not as secure, and I think that's powerful that you can make that conscious decision. Mm -hmm. But so many girls cannot make these conscious decisions, you know. And so, what happens if you're around someone that's making that decision to go the other route? How would you try to or make an attempt to get her to see things your way? Because there is a power of influence out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And, and that's, that's real talk. It's real. But we don't have enough positive to influence that negative behavior yes. because our job here and our objective is we want to create some information, mm -hmm. give out and release some information that can help these young girls that are that think that they have to follow the in crowd, yes. the negative crowd, yes. because they want to create a name for themselves, mm -hmm. you know. And so, how do we do that? You know, we have a lot of insecure girls around. How do we help prevent go into that atmosphere to help? You know, these girls become empowered mm -hmm. to help them come out of that world of wanting to build their name, of feeling like they have to go with an Art Kelly mm -hmm. to define who they are. Or if they just say no, then that means that, you know, they cannot be a part of anymore. And being a part of a certain clique yes. to girls are very important. Yes. You know, self-image self -image yes. is very important. Yes. Because I, know, I think that, that social media piece is very important. Mm -hmm. I talk to you a lot about that. Mm -hmm. That social media is important. You see this, you want to be a part of that, because that's a stronghold. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And that's what we have to understand. Mm -hmm. We understand what a stronghold is, and so that's good that you can identify and say, you know what, making that decision not be right for me. What about all those girls that, that are not as strong mm -hmm. when they need that to feel like they need to define them? Mm -hmm. that's, I mean, like at a time, like you would talk to them and talk to them for an instant, but do they want to do it? Mm -hmm. That's a real question. Mm -hmm. So you gotta help the people that want to be saved, 
but if people who don't want to be saved, if you know the young lady that want to be saved, yes. you can't really help them. There's really nothing. Yeah. Bam. They just need yeah. to have a life changing yeah. experience yes. for them to change. Yes. Did you just so, say so they probably not, yeah. they probably go as far as they run away, they get kidnapped, or they get shot to make them realize, like, oh, this is real. Yeah, life is real. <laughs> like, my like, choices are real. Like, I, me seeing somebody go through that, it's going to change. But other people, oh, not me. That's not they don't think it can happen in the That's it. They think they're invincible. They do. Kids really think they're invincible. In you have days. two daughters. Yes, I have two daughters, grown daughters, thank right. God. And I have a great baby. And you have two. Three granddaughters. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when I think about them and even my daughters, they still, I think I see them pretty young girls. And they have friends that can sometimes easily, if they are not, if they are not rooted and grounded, like you say, Amber, mm -hmm. rooted and grounded and securing themselves, they can even at the age that they are, that they are at, be influenced by other young ladies that they hang around with. 21, 20, so my oldest daughter is 27. She can be influenced by her other That's friends true. easily. Yes. We're all women. Yes. That's true. And they have their own lives. Yes. And like you said, that's when us as parents have to say, you know what? I did all that I could do. Yes. Because now they're, they should be responsible enough and old enough to make a conscious decision to say, you know what? I don't think I choose not to do that. That's true, but I, I also believe in my heart that if the proper leadership mm -hmm. and impartation mm -hmm. happen in the home, that's it. I do that's believe it. Yeah. that becomes a beginning stage of a very strong um, process. Mm -hmm. yes. process yes. Or should I say a foundation? Yes. That must be made with not just girls, mm -hmm. you know, but boys as well. But exactly. because we focus on this R. Kelly. Um, issue that's going on in, in right now. I think that we need to begin to refocus back on girls and begin to, I, I like this word mentorship. Mm -hmm. I just believe mentorship is very important. Yes, yes. I really do believe it because I think that girls looking for a certain amount of attention yes. mm -hmm. and a lot of times when they don't receive what they need at home, they will look social media. Right. Are you in agreement yes. with that? and things like that. So we have to make sure that that foundation is built at home. And that's really important. And we have to be careful. And I always talk about that cell phone. We have to be very, very careful because, you know, Em and I, you know, we talk about that phone all the time. And she's like, oh, Lord, here we go again. <laughs> but she understands once, which Keisha said is really important, and I want you to ponder over that because we want to hear what the young, what the generation you have to say because what goes on here is so important. We talk about that a lot. And when I think about what goes on in here, comes in here, and it hits from here, and it hits here. Mm -hmm. And now we have it tied to our heart. Yes. Because a lot of times we try to be someone that really, that's not who we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to create these images that are not real. Yes. And we end up having a wrestle with who we are and the image that we've created. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. So now we're in a wrestle with this false illusion, mm -hmm. this false image and who God called us to be. So there's a wrestle that, that girls, you know, yes, really, really yes. go through, and I think that's really important, that's all. So when I think about it, I think about strongholds. I think about strongholds, and strongholds are true. Okay. So being able to, you know, de being connected to the wrong source mm -hmm. causes a stronghold, mm -hmm. you know, in the lives of these girls. And a stronghold simply means that I'll end up defending something that's not right because I'm not mistaken. You know, you talked to me a little bit about two of the girls that actually was dating R. Kelly mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. I got to get this they right because I'm not understanding yeah. this. They, they because when I heard this, time. I went, come on, it can't be that bad. Yes. You know, it can't be. And we got to bring this stuff yeah. out. And Annie was telling me about it because... You know, a lot of times, yeah. you know, she follows this, Keisha, you follow this, you might have followed this. So I kind of get caught up in the spiritual realm. And I'm like, come back, come back, you need to know what's going on right here so you know what to pray about. And Amber was telling me about that. Can you share a little bit about that with me? And I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't make a connection with that. <laughs> I said, no, no, it ain't that bad. No. Um, have I been, I don't want to be asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to wake up? <laughs> we talking about wake up. Amber like, yeah, mommy, you better go to sleep. No, I was 21, I was 23, and they were dating R. Kelly. Okay with it, and they both know that they are dating. Yeah, they're currently the currently um dating him. They mm -hmm. 
Luke actually got with him when they were teenagers. Mm -hmm. um, and it brings up something that I, I was looking at, which was Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot, because a lot of people were saying, well, these are girls, they, they, why can't they just leave? Um, and, you know, I ended up having this discussion about Stockholm Syndrome, and it's real, it's for, it's for women, um, kidnapped women. But when I relate Stockholm Syndrome to these young, young women, um, it's with them having that connection with them. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of women who have Stockholm Syndrome, and this is what they remind me of, because although he's, he may be mistreating them, like kidnappers do, they're, pro they're probably getting mistreated, they probably um, are being held captive, um, all these different things, but for some reason having that syndrome, they begin to feel, um, you know, passionate about sympathy for, for these um, people that do these different things to them, and when they when they do these bad things to them, they don't see it as being wrong mm. because it's something that's now developed with them being that's, that's emotionally attached to this person. It's, it's so if you think about it, if you think about it, if these girls are now suffering from something like that and they don't see anything wrong with it, they want to protect him. They yes. want to, and they look at people who are trying to come in as outside as trying to break this thing up. Instantly and, when she starts yeah. sharing the, uh -huh. information about that. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Mm -mm. I'm trying to figure out what the uncle came no, from. No, it's because they don't know their worth. Mm. Like, you say, you're right about building a foundation in a home, but we have to try to find a way to build a foundation in them. Mm. Okay, let me ask you this. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay. That was a powerful, that, that was yeah. a powerful point. Hold on, Keisha, I want you to interject. Because, mm. Hold on, I need you to repeat that because that can, was powerful. You can build a strong foundation in a home, but it's their choice that they want to follow that strong foundation as they grow up. So we need to find a way how to pour it inside. Yeah. Powerful. That's, that's, we need to that's find good. a way to build a foundation in mm -hmm. them. Powerful. I want someone to please go ahead and, and, and just be that tag team for me because we want to get that word out. That was a powerful yeah. word that she said because I never thought about that. So we're so strong with building the foundation at home, but the foundation that we're building at home is not in them. Okay, so I have something. Okay, so what about the girls? Because these are the type of girls that I run into. Most of the time, I'm not running into girls who have mom and dad at home. Okay. I mean, reality is, we're not running into girls. A lot of the girls, a large percentage of the girls out there, they don't have mom at home. If mom is at home, mom is at work. Mm -hmm. now, you have some of these girls that are living in adoptive homes. Okay. So you have some of these girls that are living in... Um, these community homes yeah, grandma, because or, or with grandma or you have some of these girls who have been sort of like thrown away so they're living in group homes because I don't know they kept getting abused in these um, you know adopted homes that they were living right. in um, and to me this is reality right. so what do you say to these young girls who are coming from broken places they're not coming from you okay. know households so let me, where let me interject right there mm -hmm. because it's funny that Keisha said it so I'm, I'm a, see right yeah. you're going down the same path like, like Keisha you and I Amber you and I kind of connect. I'm like I'm like wait wait what did you do that's what <laughs> see what? You, what? Did, you 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 didn't raise you you didn't raise in a mother um father home right yeah but no this is the thing what i'm trying to say is i wasn't on drugs no take you it know, back. but listen i wasn't on drugs mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i i was at home i was present so okay. my thing is what do you say to the broken girls who don't have that person at home okay let's what do you say to the broken girls who are being molested okay let me rewind the tape and then they choose to go out and look we for go, a pimp or r kelly we go what do you say to those we're gonna, we gonna rewind the tape we're gonna tell Keisha to breathe <laughs> I want you to ponder over what Amber said, and I want you to follow me, because I think it's a good point. Y'all know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I want you to walk down. We're gonna go, we're gonna walk down the journey with you because I understand what you said. What well, about those girls okay. that was on drugs, right? No, no, mom, no, no, no. mom, mom, mom. They, they don't, don't have, have that at home. They don't have that time. Okay, let's not put Keisha. No, no, no. We're not. We're not. That's what I'm saying. Like she's asking, what do you ask? But what to the you, broken ones. Like okay. We got a solution. Yeah, go ahead. We, you ask them, what do they want to do? Like. You ask them, like, do they still want to keep, like, the, the generational curse going? But this, like, you're absolutely right. right. But now we're talking about creating a community. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to stay with me. Right? We have to now create a community. Mm -hmm. And I believe bullet one, when we're talking about solution to so some issues here, because I don't believe that we have a problem until you don't have a solution. Mm -hmm. That we got a problem. Mm -hmm. There's solutions to everything. So we go back for a second. We're going to pull you out, but I'm going to put you back in for a moment, okay? But I'm going to say if we don't create a community of a kingdom community, mm -hmm. 
for these lost girls who are going to be in trouble. Yes. If we don't, Absolutely. if we don't come up, and this is the reason why we're doing what we're doing, because social media is like poison mm -hmm. to our youth, which create what I like to say. Now you have a forest mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. When you just started out, right, with a little bit of a, of a fire. <laughs> yeah. You got a forest fire because we don't have enough community that's Spent. coming together mm -hmm. yes. to try to create Absolutely. different avenues, avenues to help our, yes. our youth. Yeah. That's why we do Sister Empowering Sisters on Girl Talk. Mm -hmm. But I believe the part that breaks my heart is that we create avenues of escape for these girls, but we don't have enough I want partnerships. Yes. That's what I said. Partnership to come together to bring more of an awareness yeah. so that we can help a lot of these girls mm -hmm. that are lost. Because I think that there are a lot of resources out there. But we have so many parents asleep. Mm -hmm. You know, that's we true. do. Mm -hmm. We have so many parents asleep. That, and that's what we want to do, a wake-up call. Because we just don't want to talk. We're not bringing this on to just talk about R. Kelly. And, this, and all this different, this scandal that's going on and all these things that's going on with him in the news right now. We want to be able to create resources mm -hmm. to, or even say a word that can help empower someone's home so that their daughters don't go through the same cycle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I think that's one way we can look at it, Keish. We can create, you know, different avenues if we can get communities uh, to come together, partnerships to come together yes, and yes, help yes. a lot of these mm -hmm. young girls. I believe that there should be more programs within the school system yes, that definitely. Help, yes, most uh, can definitely. help a lot most of definitely. our children that are lost mm -hmm. and, and going astray. That's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why I was very happy and elated to take Amber out of the system that really could not help her emotionally, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, spiritually. Mm -hmm. So I took her out of that system because at the end of the day, it's not, and I say this all the time, it's not about a curriculum. That's the right. issue is not the curriculum. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of social and emotional issues, issues. within the school system That's that right. they want to just push up on yes. the rug. And until we really learn how to really develop, the WEX programs are developed, mm -hmm. come together and create more partnerships mm -hmm. within the community to rally around these programs that's trying to really make a difference in the lives of these girls. Mm -hmm. But Amber said something I think was very powerful. They gotta wanna be helped. Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember we started Sister Brown Sisters Girl Talk a couple years back when we had to literally yes. drag the girls in the building, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know yes. yes. <laughs> and, I, and I go back, yes. and I go back, you know, and I just kinda, go back and view all the girls that once was with us, and I'm looking and a lot of them are still lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. And if parents would have stood and not given them a choice, mm -hmm. and this is the thing, we have to stop giving our girls a choice. This baby here ain't got no choice. She's 17 years old. One is seven. And not long, not a year from, not even a year, not six months, she can be the month. You'll be 18 years old. Chop, chop. You don't have a choice. This is what I need you to do. She's still a 10 girl talk. You need 17 years old. Because I know that you need a positive environment. Mm -hmm. Because we're, 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 you're growing up in a world that's toxic. Yes. That's toxic. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. And that is one of the things, Keish, I just wanted to bring a point mm -hmm. out. Because I think that's one of the yeah, I ways. You have to have partnerships. Mm -hmm. You got to have partnerships. And we have to have strong parents. Mm -hmm. Watch this. The support partnership. Can somebody yes. please? Yes. <laughs> yes. So yes. Somebody please. Yes. yes. It's please, Dad yes. team. We need parents that's going to support the partnership. Yes. We have the Sister Brown Sister Girl Talk. That place should be filled up because social media is filled with toxic. Yes. It really is. And they really need that foundation because if, if it's not, the enemy is real and it's creeping. Mm -hmm. It's creeping. Mm -hmm. It's creeping into the music. Yes. It's creeping into social media. Mm -hmm. It's creeping through the school systems. Oh, it's yes. creeping through the children. Yes. And it's real. And it's a gate that's open that needs to be closed. Mm -hmm. Amber, you wanted to say something earlier um, about, I know you said, well, we won't use Keisha right now. I thought that was interesting. She's already to protect. Yeah. Or like didn't have one at all. Right. She said she did have one. 
Right. She has a good voice. Absolutely. But what I what I've always admired about Keisha, and, and, and your strength is like a lion. Because not discrediting anything great in your home, don't get me wrong. But to be able to be strong enough to say no. Yes. That's powerful. And to me, make a conscious decision. Amber, you said that. It's a you she have to look. she chose the great great generation. Mm -hmm. She said no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing yeah. it. Yeah. How did you how do you, you say no? Not doing it? No, you just it all it always take me back to the story of the, the, the guy that had the, the set of twins. He was an alcoholic. Yeah, I love that story. Both both of the twins one grew it. up to be an alcoholic. I love it. The other one grew up to be a successful attorney. And they asked, why didn't you become an alcoholic? He said, my brother, I saw what my dad was and I didn't want to be that. I saw what I did not want to be. Mm -hmm. And the other one saw him and became what he saw. So it's like everything that we see is going to be positive true. or negative. And let the are you going to choose the positive yeah. or the it's negative? A it's a choice. We are so it's true what you're saying. We can raise them right into a Catholic environment, yeah, it's a right. kingdom environment. It's a choice. And at the end of the day, those choice. children go astray. It's, it's a choice. choice. Just what Amber said. Choice. They have to want it. Yeah, you can be a preacher's daughter. Then again, you can be a preacher's daughter. But then you can make them bad decisions. Yes, you right. can turn the other way it's because, because oh, I've been, I've been doing this all my life. I'm going to be better. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have to be smart. It's like 50-50. Like, do I let my daughter experience these things or do I let my son experience these things? Or do I still keep an eye? Like, like you said, you still stay stay with me. Like, <laughs> she's, like, she's, she's like, stay with me, mom. You are protected. I am. But you do sometimes she's when they make me. Like, you do sometimes when like, you me. decide. <laughs> like, don't when lose you me. let me choose my She own. said, don't lose me. So, yeah. It's interesting. Um, Not long ago, her and I, we, we got and we agreed to disagree. And we let it, we set it at the altar together. And she wanted to go somewhere. You remember? You wanted to go somewhere. Somewhere? No, this was not too too many about a month ago. I can't remember. It was some of your friends. I don't know. Some of to the movies or something or to. I can't remember. I don't and I said no, and you says, "Mom, why well, could go?" I think it was for a game or something. You remember? It was a game. It was a game. It was Dilla versus Ely. It was <laughs> Dilla versus Ely. And tell him, tell him. <laughs> that is a big. That's a big game. Game. That's a big game. But my mom, okay, that's a big thing, y'all. My mom does not let me go to basketball games unless Keisha. <laughs> Mind you, I'm 17. I'm turning 18 soon. Yeah. Mom, let me go to the game. No. Why? I have the prayer about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the prayer about it. I'm like, come on, stay with me. Yeah. I'm like, I have to pray about it. I'm gonna let you well, pray about it, you. and yeah. I'm gonna go in my room. I'm not gonna come out. I did. I said it. I'm sorry. I said it, didn't I? I, I remember. This is the fourth game. I did. I had missed. I okay. thought about it. I had. A, I had. A, I did. I did, didn't I? You did. Because I, I did. was proud. And, but this is the thing. I was proud. There was no wrestle between her and I because um, she went. She were, she's mature. I can see. And it was one of the things I say. And I say this is one of the things. And we're still talking about the R. Kelly. And a lot of times, mom, don't let him go until you see the maturity. That's it. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter of age. And I think a lot of times mm -hmm. when I, girls, you heard what Amber said, we let them go too fast without being covered and protected. Yes. And we have to have a discernment, and a discernment that she had to get a revelation on. And I really believe you just recently got your wow revelation is when you came in the room last Saturday when um, the student from Dillard mm -hmm. drowned. She got her wow moment. And um, and she's like, I get it now because at the end of the day, there's a, you're my watchman, mm -hmm. you know, you're yes. my eyes when I can't yes. see. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure, moms, your eyes are always open because I always say, Amber and I are friends with what? Boundaries. Boundaries. <laughs> you look. <laughs> so that's the boundary. So when I say no, that's when God come in and boundaries sit, you know, mm -hmm. open up. So when she said that, I, and she left me alone, the Holy Spirit dealt with me. 
And the Holy Spirit said, she matured. And, and, I, and I never told her this, but the reason why I allowed her to go is the way she handled the no. Mm -hmm. The, 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 handled the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll pray about it. Mm -hmm. Now, the old Annie, before we shifted to this maturity, was, come on, mom, come on. Talk, talk to me. Talk <laughs> to me, baby. Talk to me. Amber has been delivered. <laughs>
Because you think that because your kids are two and three and four that they don't see and they don't understand what's going That's on. Powerful. They understand. Yeah, they're and they will tell Very you when mm -hmm. you get older. Well, you did it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They wow. will tell you hey, just that. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you have a paradigm shift at such a young age? A paradigm shift to go, I don't no longer want to be a people pleaser at that age. How, how, what made you come into that new mindset? You know what I mean? To say, yeah. young, because it's 17. You, I think there's a lot of young girls out there that's trying to yes. to please people, yes. and I think that's how those girls got caught up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yes, it is. It actually started when, right when I got homeschooled. Wow! Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Like I, I was literally shut off from the mm -hmm. entire world. Y'all come on, come on. Yes. Wow. So the disconnect. So. I realized people will stop texting back. Oh wow. My best friend, for example. Talk to me. She would stop text. I don't, I'm a bad texter. <laughs> so I understand. How do you be a bad texter? Yes, I'm a bad, I'm a, I, 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 I never knew respond. that. I thought I, I knew a lot. Because I, I you know what? Respond you know what's interesting to me? Thank you, Amber, because I can't understand why, why she I don't text respond. And you don't respond. <laughs> I mean, you had, okay, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> I will leave these people on D for months. Oh my God. Like, and then I came to realize, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. But, and then I'm like, wait, if you really wanted me, it wasn't really you would text back again. Mm. So the people who really wanted to talk to me, they'll talk to me, they'll call me, make sure I'm okay. Right. The ones who didn't, they never responded, or I, did, I never responded. I would call them, they didn't answer, they will call me, I didn't answer. It just wasn't meant to be. So with me not texting back, and with them not texting back, it, made, it made me realize who was really there for me, who was really there for me, and who wasn't. Yeah. Wow. So like, I would, I would most definitely text you back. <laughs> but people that I didn't seem to really like, I cared about, mm -hmm. but I didn't really, care enough to talk to them at the time like because our conversation wasn't like it wasn't like oh let's go to church mm -hmm. it's about parties i see so yeah. so when me you want to go to a party i would respond oh you get what i'm saying yes okay. so it's not like it's not like oh hey and i never respond no it's like do you can we go somewhere mm -hmm. i need you to come with me mm -hmm. stuff like that i need you to do something for me Mm -hmm. I remember when um I your need, first I need, yeah, wake I need up. help. I need help. Oh, my boyfriend. Oh my god. I'm like, come on. Mm -hmm. If you if it's like Yana, she'll how are you? I love you. Make sure you're okay. How's mom doing? Stuff like that. Right. So I only talk to like two people, but that's okay. Right. Because I've realized who's there for you. Who doesn't there for me? I remember you made a comment. It was very interesting, and you you were you were a little hurt mm -hmm. because, and I think this was a paradise shift for you when you start just realizing, you know, friendships mm -hmm. and defining sisterhoods and all these different things. It's when your birth people pleasing. Mm -hmm. It's when your birthday, when you was planning that, when you was planning that birthday party, <laughs> and your and your and your best friend and your best friend decided that she couldn't, she didn't come to the birthday party. Mm -hmm. And um, because of something personal that was going on in her life, mm -hmm. and and whatever was going personal in her life, you continued to, and I want to say, coach her through it. You was coaching her through her situation from the beginning to end, and it was like, hold on, pleasing her, pleasing her. And when pleased. you needed her the most, kept she running. said, I can't make it. Yeah, I, w I was I was helping her. I was like, let, let, let that boy go. <laughs> Please, <laughs> like, come on, you're too old for this. No, are you, are you seventeen or are you four? Like, come on, like, really? Next time we're gonna have apple cider. Yes, yes. <laughs> come on, like, you know right from wrong. You can do this, and then I just go let it. go. I'm like, mm. like, it wasn't. I, that's not the conversation. I really wanted to hold. You know, like, I realize, like, I'm not going to keep calling her and texting her about this girls one can have strong on each oh, other. Yes. Girls can have strong on oh, each exactly. other. They really can. And I think that, I think it's really important 
because we have to realize we were girls, you want to get around a positive environment mm -hmm. because they Most easily definitely. pull you into easily into that negative world. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very, very you can lose yourself. Mm -hmm. Because when you try to please people, you lose yourself. Yes, you do. And now that, that stronghold is on you. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times that's how a lot of the young girls end up coming into these negative environments. It's only takes one person, one thing, they just change. One and negative person. One yes. is just, mm -hmm. they just like change. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so it's important. And Keisha, so it's interesting even mm -hmm. with you coming up with your group, the, the group of girls you decided to be with that time. Was there a negative influence in your group as you were coming up at that time? When I was older or younger? Teen, younger um, yeah, there, there were a few. Mm -hmm. um, and we was all connected through school. So, um, I think that, like, well, no, that was in middle school. Right. So it was a couple that I hung around negative in middle school. But moving on to high school, no. No. I can't think of one friend that was negative that I hung around. Every mm -hmm. last one of us, we, um, because we were all athletes. Oh, wow. And we, we all wanted to accomplish the That's same thing with the school. So yeah. in high school, we were all on the same page. Wow. And I can't even, like a friend called me saying, let's go do something. Because we all knew we had to eat good because we all played. We all competed. You know, we were co competing and everything. Um, we were, you know, the best school in Broward County. Dillard, of course. <laughs> <laughs> standards and it was like we all wanted to go to college we needed a full ride mm -hmm. you know it's like we were all um thinking about the same thing and we wanted to just excel we used to compete we was gonna get the, the highest gpa yeah. every mm -hmm. semester so there was always a competition with my friends in high school and um i didn't have that experience of having a friend trying to pull me away from mm -hmm. that because we all were trying to do the same thing and I think that's the difference, that's the difference with, yes. with teenagers. you got to be connected to people who want to fly, mm -hmm. who want to be eagles. Yeah. And everybody else that get in the way of that, you have to be okay with saying, you know what, we just want in two different directions. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it because you have your own path to, to travel. But I want to travel this path, you know, right. that's going to that's gonna make my, my outcome a little bit more right. um, positive, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more better. My experience is a little bit more happier. Um, at that time, so yeah, yeah I just shake your head because um, ninth, ninth and tenth grade, I realized like as I was sitting in the house in my eleventh grade, year, my junior year, right now, I realized that my ninth and tenth grade, I was really losing myself. Mm. So you know, like homeschool is is either it's for people who need it and people who just want to go with. Like I did it because of gymnastics, right? So. I wasn't forced, but I chose to do it. I didn't need to, but I chose to. Right. But that was the best decision of my life because now I know that I don't need any, I don't need none of my friends right. to make me feel like, oh, I got a life. Or like, I, like they, they, they choose what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Or they control me when they want to control me. Mm -hmm. I'm my own person. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when the R. Kelly, like when the girls, it's, it's just one negative environment that changed them. So, like, just like my high school year, just one, just mm -hmm. one oh, negative one environment. Can, yeah. someone, can someone one please um, go ahead and hashtag for me, and that was very important. One negative environment can change you. Yes. I think that's very powerful and empowering information. So, I, and, I, and I'm praying that young girls, mom, I'm going to strongly encourage you that if you have a young teen, sit them down because a lot of times teens learn from each other. Mm -hmm. yes. Teens learn from each other. They don't always learn from us and you know eat off our tree. They learn from one another and I think it's important for them to hear that. They have to check their environment. That's very powerful. And listen, at the end of the day, my prayer is that a lot of girls, especially girls, come out of, and I'm going to say it, that system and create you know a, an environment at home where they can continue their education at home because there's so much, I'm gonna say it, negative things that's going on within the system. Mm -hmm. And you heard it from here and I never even heard you really say that because I saw a transformation on her through her transition. Mm -hmm. When she transitioned from there, from, from you know the county to coming home and now you know continuing her education here through homeschooling, I saw a transformation on her that was powerful. I didn't see the, you know, spoiled little girl. I didn't see, 
you know, that little rebellious spirit that can arise up. You know, teenagers, hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I oh, didn't yes. see that on her. I didn't see her rejecting. I saw her accepting. And I thought about that. And even more, I'm getting empowerment. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't thought about it. Yes. Because you're not influenced now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the distraction. I'm, 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 I'm around yeah. positive. I'm, I'm in the house. I'm around you. So you know you're positive. You know she's positive. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's positive. I'm talking about 430 in the morning. <laughs>
we go through as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And we just learn, and I think it's powerful even because we're not perfect either. Mm -hmm. We have imper imperfections as well. I let you, I let yes. you so smile. the day I live this earth, I'm yes. still not going to be perfect. That's it. Mm -hmm. But every day of our life, we are still to do what? Yeah. Grow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have to grow. Yeah. We, still, we still, even if we're a woman and we make the right decision, I think we still will grow. Yes. You guys. I'm still a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Now let me tell you, uh, Wanda. Mm -hmm. We have a minute to talk to him. Tell me, wrap it up. We're wrapping it up now. Tell me your thought process, even what you hear, what happened today. What can you say out there to really empower someone's life? I think we just really have to watch whom we're allowing, just going right back to influence, mm -hmm. whom we're allowing to influence ourselves, mm -hmm. whom we are even as mothers allowed to influence our children. Yes. Yeah, I used to hear parents say, I pick my children friend. I'm like, pick your children friend? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you need to pick your children friend. Mm -hmm. Cause at that age, mm -hmm. just like everyone was saying, she said, yeah, I didn't yeah. know that I kind of had friends that really didn't like me or really didn't care for me until I had a disconnect. Mm -hmm. Even though my mom was probably already saying to me, mm, I don't know about that person. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see that yes. because I didn't know. So I think it's safe to say, yes, parents, pick mm -hmm. your children friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pick your children because it's so important who's going to be influencing them. And when you're not around, if they don't have that foundation, mm. easily yeah. influenced. Key, Man. talk to them out there. That's good. I um, I think it it starts with well, you have a lot like M. She she knows, you know, she knows better. She knows right from wrong. Um, but I think that influence who you decide to hang around. Um, you know. It, it's very, it's vital. It's vital to survival. It's vital to um, a lot of these young girls being connected to poison. Um, you know, so you connect with poison, and this is what is going to come out. So I think that a lot of um, young girls, they just need to watch who they are connected to. Wow. Um, and I think that that's, that's you know something important. And as far as women, mm -hmm. I agree with everything I want to say because yes. you do have a lot of women who are who still feel obligated yes. to, to these relationships that's bringing death into death their homes yes. and, and, and and poison poisoning mm -hmm. their environment and their children and they're not strong enough to cut the cord because of whatever reasons so I just completely agree with what Wanda said that's um, awesome. with the women. That's it. Awesome. Amber, yeah. I want you to talk directly into that camera and talk to those young girls that could possibly be going through, you know, uh, being influenced by negative the environment. Talk to me, tell them from your heart, just your like, final thoughts. Just like Auntie Wanda and Keisha said, listen to your parents about your friends. Because mm -hmm. you may not be wrong or negative, but you the negativity can influence something positive. Mm -hmm. So listen to your <laughs> listen to your parents when they say, Oh, that one ain't right. Wow. I don't want you to be wrong with that one. Mm -hmm. Because later on you'll realize why they said it. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Yeah. Woo! Listen, 1 Peter 5 and 8 says, be sober. Wake up. Because the lion, the Bible says, the lion comes like a devourer, mm -hmm. later to devour someone. So it goes seeking to and for, looking to see who can, he can devour. Yes. So I'm telling each and every one of the parents out there, wake up. What happened with these girls with R. Kelly should have never happened. Mm -hmm. I challenge the mothers, I challenge the fathers, be wise, mm -hmm. open up your mouth and begin to speak life into your children. Be that positive influence mm -hmm. for them because I'm telling you, what you say to them today will be there tomorrow. Yeah. Listen, God bless mm -hmm. each and every one of you. We look forward to seeing you in your future. Bye-bye.